going to be doing a first impressions video and I'm really excited about this one because it has to do with hair. So um, Michelle Fawn did this blog on her website at michellefawn.com of three different natural types of hair masks. We're going to try the coconut oil hair mask. So it's a really easy recipe. The recipe calls for two parts coconut oil and we are using the Luan, Luana coconut oil. So we have this really big shot glass that we are going to fill two shot glasses full of coconut oil. It does not smell like coconut. Interesting. It just takes, it, it smells. It doesn't have a smell at all. Yep. It is scentless. I wonder why that is. Does anybody know why that is? Please let me know in the comments below why coconut oil does not smell like coconut. I'm gonna try using. They say you can use coconut oil to pop popcorn. I'm really tempted to try that. It's good enough. Ooh. Trying to get all of it out so that I measure it correctly. Oops. Okay. There is my second part. Mashing like mashed potatoes. Mashing like. So two ounces of coconut oil and one ounce of olive oil should definitely be enough for hair. Because look how much, like look how short my hair is and that's how much the two, the four ounces is. So, so we got the coconut done. Now we put in one part of olive oil. And we are, it didn't say extra virgin, so I have here classic pure olive oil from Pompeian. Pompeian? 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 Pompe well, it says Pomp... Pomp... Mm. Pompeian? I don't know. Ugh. I love olive oil. Extra virgin or regular. I do not care. And olive oil doesn't have a scent either. Interesting. Okay. That is a lot... of olive oil. <laughs> Take shot. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. So we take the olive oil and just pour it in and mix it all together. This hair mask is supposed to help with dryness in your hair and it's supposed to help make your hair nice and moist and fluffy and healthy. And it doesn't require a lot of ingredients, so this is good. Okay, so maybe you want to do two ounces and one ounce next time, because this is a lot that I can probably use again later. We could have like split this. <laughs> How do we put this in our hair? Do we use a spoon? Question of the day. We have all this mixed. After it's in our hair, we're supposed to wrap our hair in a bun on the top of our head and then wrap it in either saran wrap or a shower cap. Shower cap. Something like that, something to cover it, and then you leave it on there for 15 to 30 minutes depending on how dry your hair is. So I'm gonna do a little cut scene and we're gonna get this in our hair and then we're gonna wrap our hair up and I will be right back. We come from the planet of far away land. Take us to your leader. So we leave these on for about 30 minutes or so and then we rinse it off in the shower and we will be back with the results once the 30 minutes have ended and we have washed this out. Now, if you're going to use saran wrap, it's a little bit tricky because depending on the saran wrap that you use, it may start sliding off your head because that's what was happening to me. 
when she, my mom was wrapping it around my head, it was slow, it was starting to slide off. So that's why I, it looks weird around my face because I had to put it over my eyes in order for it not to completely just slide off my head. So we'll be back. Okay, so this is the end result of the hair mask. And my hair definitely feels a lot softer. It's still a little damp. I just finished combing it. And um, I definitely like it. It's kind of difficult to get out of my hair. I don't know if it's because my hair is thick or not. But I think for something that's really cheap, I would definitely, for me, because my hair is already really thick, I would do this probably once a month. And when I wash my hair, I use the tea tree oil, shampoo and conditioner, and then afterwards I put in some Garnier Fructis leave-in conditioner, so now it's extra soft and it smells so delightful. So I definitely recommend this. Um, if you have any questions about the product, I'm sure that you can message Michelle Fawn on her blog page at michellefawn.com. If you like this video and you want me to do some more first impression videos on products, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below on an item that you would like me to try. But other than that, thank you for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye!